Real quick, before we get started, um, I filmed this video over a course of about five days and towards the end I got a little sick. Um, I'm editing right now, I'm still a little sick. Um, so if you hear a difference in my voice or anything, that is why. Uh, so I did have to deal with that. Also, I wanted to share this West Virginia State Quarter. If you can see right here, this has a nice die chip on the rim. So that is a cud die chip. Um, I got this in pocket change. This was not found in this box that I'm about to go through, but I just wanted to share that. That is a really cool find, especially to get in pocket change. So always check your pocket change. All right, well, let's get into this box. Hello, welcome to a quarter video. We've got a box of quarters here and uh, they are circulated. So we have a fun hunt ahead of us. Hopefully you'll find some really cool stuff in here. Uh, but uh, we won't know until we get into these rolls and see what's going on with them. It looks like a couple of the rolls uh, are on probably the end of the roll where there was no print on the paper. So that is interesting. Looks like we got a couple of those in here. One, two, three, four of them. So cool. Maybe those will be lucky rolls. I don't know. But let's uh, get into this and find out. Intro, take 473. Q music. Q coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. On roll number two, we just got a slightly interesting find here. Uh, kind of 1965. And it has a die crack right here that goes up into the um, bust here. This one is very worn, so you can see how worn it is. Um, I believe there is some some die breaks over here, uh, cuts that have been discovered on the 65s. Um, but if this die break continues on and pops out down here somewhere, um, and if the die piece were to fall out, that would be called a cut. So this is doesn't go rim to rim the die crack it just goes up into the bus but if it hit the rim again it would be called a pre-cut either way that's a interesting find there so we're going to toss it up here and uh, keep going roll number seven second to last coin here we got a 2015 homestead and if you watch any of my other quarter videos you know there's going to be some doubling in the window here um, or you can find die chips on the roof, on top of the window here, on the bucket, the bucket. You can find die chips out to the sides here on the corn stalks. I don't look for those as much as I do everything else in the center here. But always fun to find some doubling on a, on a coin. And 2015s and 2016s are great to look at to try and find those. Well, number eight, and I've got something unique here. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But here in E Pluribus Unum, under uh, Pluribus here, there is some form of doubling. Now this kind of looks like it could be more of a machine doubling, um, but it does look a little uh, odd for machine doubling. Um, so there, like I said, there's something odd going on here. I'm not 100% sure because the Ancus design where the letters are struck down into the coin, I do have a lot harder time distinguishing machine doubling from double dies, uh, actual doubling on the dies themselves. Um, it looks like it does have some minor machine doubling through here, but it could be minor, very minor doubling, and it's just showing up really big here. So again, uh, this is definitely an uh, interesting looking coin, something interesting going on with it. But uh, I have no clue what exactly it is at, at the moment. If I figured it out, I'll let you know. Um, otherwise, um, I'm just going to put it up there as an interesting find for now. It's roll 13, and we have a In God We Rust quarter. You can see the T is pretty much missing. Um, some grease filled in the letter there on the die, so the letter did not strike up. Um, hardly at all. And again, this is on the 2005. You can find these on, on a bunch of different dates, but the 2005s are the most common ones to find. Roll 15, and we have another 2015 here with doubling in the windows. Now, there is a ton of these listed out there with different doubling 
uh, throughout the windows here. So there's a ton of different ones to find, but always fun find, uh, if you ask me. That's the second one of this hunt. Bull number 18, and we got a 2016 here. Um, this one is kind of dirty and rough, but it does have doubling in the windows here. There is, again, over 100 of these on the 2016 uh, listed out there. So there is a ton of these to look for as well. Always fun to find. Um, almost always a different one I, I find. And, you know, always something fun to look for. Roll number 20, and we've got another 2015 here. This one has a different error on it. This one has a uh, nice sized die chip under the bucket here. You see it attaches to the base of the water pump. This is called a leaky bucket. Some of them get pretty big. And this is a decent size one. Um, some of them are small. This one's getting towards the medium size, I believe. Uh, but that's a fun little find there. Nothing else I saw going on with it, but still, uh, finding a, a leaky bucket is pretty cool. I don't see those very often. Roll number 20, and have a pretty cool find here. Um, I've been looking for these, and i uh, come across a different version of this, but uh, this one may be one of the best ones I've ever found. Um, it's only the second one I found like this. Unfortunately, it's got some nasty spots on it, but on the front there is doubling in In God We Trust. You can clearly see an extra thickness on the G and the O there. Um, so that's pretty cool. I've been looking for one of these. Unfortunately, it is a pretty nasty coin there, but um, hey, it, it, it's a pretty cool find nonetheless. Roll 17, and I've got a 2023. Uh, Edith Kanaka Ole quarter here. This one has the doubling across the top here and around the bottom here. So this is double die uh, VDDR001, I believe, out on Variety Vista. There is some doubling up in here too. Um, it's pretty cool. This one is a little bit dirty and circulated, but that is another double die there. So that's pretty cool. Roll number 30, and I've got a fun find here. I have an estimated business strike not tender for circulation quarter this is a 2018 um, it's pretty good shape does have a little circulation on it but it is always fun to find a quarter that wasn't released into circulation in circulation let's roll 31 and i've come across another estimated coin this one is a proof however um, it does have a lot of circulation wear on it and this one is the connecticut uh, proof. Let's uh, here. Let me grab the other one and we can compare them here. So, just in case people haven't seen the difference, you can see this one over here is the not intended for circulation business strike. You know, normal strike. This one is a proof strike. Even with circulation, you can still see the mirror fields on on there, and then the details. Um, the ray surfaces have that frosty finish. You can tell even more on the back because the tree kind of saved the mirror fields from some of the circulation dings and scratches and whatnot on it. Um, then also the uh, business strike uh, estimated quarters did not were not going on during the uh, state quarter hood set. It started, I believe during the ATV sets, and if I can figure out the date, I'll put it down here at the bottom. But, uh, so that is the difference between these two and why this one is not a proof and this one is. Now, in when they were striking these business strike coins, they also were striking, maybe not at the exact same time, but San Francisco was making proofs as well, San Francisco Mint. So that is the difference. If you do come across any proofs, and any business strike, you can probably tell the difference. The rim is slightly a bit thicker and more squarish as most proofs are. Um, so we found a proof, a state hood quarter set proof, nice. Roll number 36 here, I've got another find I don't usually come across. I've got a 2019, this one has a nice size side chip over here at the side of this cross. Up here at the top, there is a little bit of um, die weakness showing so there would be another die chip getting ready to fall out of the die here at some point after probably a uh, few hundred maybe a thousand more strikes of coins 
Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool find. Is there a little ditch up here? It looks like there's a little ditch up there too. Um, I don't usually find them on the ends of here. Um, so they are not super rare, but not probably more uncommon than common. Uh, like I said, I don't usually find them there. Well, number 49, I've come across another business strike San Francisco quarter. This one is 2017. Nice. That is our second business strike, America the Beautiful quarter there to go up here. Let's coin and roll 41. Got a 2023 Eleanor Roosevelt women's quarter here. And here on the reverse, there is what looks like some doubling in here. Um, again, there has been some double dies found in this area. I don't know if any of them have been listed out yet or not. Uh, I know some of them have been submitted for review. Um, and I'll have to double check that. If this matches anything that is out there, I'll list it out here. If not, I'm going to put this as a possible double die, maybe machine doubling. Uh, so we're going to add it up here somewhere. Okay, I just poured out roll number five here and pulling it out. It looks like I got something right here. Um, it could be a silver, but I don't get silver in this area very much here. Let me pick up just this so we can take a good look at it. Could be a four, but that does look like a silver edge. Is that a silver? Did I finally find a silver in one of these boxes? I find them about once a year. So is it time? Did I get a silver? Oh, and I did. Awesome. 1960. So has the Denver Mint mark. So this is a Denver. 1960 Denver silver quarter in my box. Very cool. Very awesome. Good to see. That is uh, very cool. Um, again, I don't see, hardly ever see silver in my boxes. So finding the silver in my box is awesome. Awesome. Roll 49. And we have another double die on the reverse of this. 2015. Um, some more doubling in the windows here. Very cool. Right, that's our third one of those. Yep, third one of those. Awesome. Last coin to roll 49, and we have a Harper's Ferry here. Um, this one also has some doubling in the windows as well. Very cool. That is awesome. Another double die there. Um, I'll put it here with the other one that I believe is the same. I don't remember uh, the beginning of the hunt, if I found one or not, but there it is. There it is. One roll left. Let's see what we get in this roll. Number 50, our final roll. We've got a 2018, oh, sorry, 2020 here with some die chips on it. This is the Tallgrass Prairie one. There's a die chip over the butterfly. A little bit of some die chips here on the wing. You can find a bunch of different sized die chips here on the wing. There's a little bit of a die crack here. Um, sometimes you can find some die chips up here, but they're a bit more rare. You usually find them here, and on occasion you'll find them up here and up here. So this one has the die chip here and a little bit of die chip there. Very cool. Well, it is time to wrap up here. We had a pretty fun and interesting hunt. Lots of cool finds. Lots of interesting finds. But best of all, probably the best find is getting this 19, uh, 1960 silver quarter. Um, I don't find silver very often, maybe about once a year, and I guess it was time for the boxes to pay out for once. Very cool. <laughs> so breaking down the finds here, I'm gonna, just going to break them down as quickly as possible. Uh, here you got the uh, 2020 Salt River Bay DDO, and we had two potential DDRs. They might be machine doubling. There's no listings out there for the Eleanor Roosevelt's, but uh, definitely... Um, Interesting finds nonetheless. We had the 2005 Kansas and Godby Rust Quarter. Um, this uh, Edith Kanakaoli with DDR001 out on Variety Vista. And we had two 2016 Harper Fairies with DDRs and three 2015 Homesteads with DDRs in the windows uh, each. Um, down here we had this 1965 with a little die crack here. Uh, two estimated business strike quarters, one proof, and then uh, some die chips uh, above, on and above the butterfly here. Uh, two die chips on this one, plus a little die crack, 
and the leaky bucket down here. So that is what we have for the finds. Uh, again, fun hunt, great box overall, and I can't go wrong when you find that silver for face value. This is right about $5 melt. There's $5 worth of silver in this one coin, and I got it for a quarter. Awesome. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.